Good afternoon, Friday, Friday movement snack fans. It's Friday the 16th of May. It's 4 p.m. Uh, it's not Cracker Jack. We've done the Cracker Jack thing. It's movement snack, movement snack number three today. We're still here. We're still here. Uh, if this is the snack you would like, please stay. If you're on YouTube or watching the group back, you have the luxury of getting rid of this preamble if you don't want it. But sometimes it's worth a listen. So here we are. Come on, everyone. 4 p.m. Uh, <clears throat> Northumberland. Let's do the location mapper, tracker, movement snacker, locator. Northumberland, Calgary. I love saying that. D, I still love saying that. Northumberland, oh, and Calgary. Come on, D. And then Wales, place of my own art. And then Miss Perry. Um, I was going to say something, it's gone out my head. So I just say, come on, keep coming in. Great to have you back. It's Friday, sway and stretch. Big stretch, all of the movement minutes you've accumulated today may well feel better for some flexibility, attention in all your moving parts. Moving parts need muscles. Muscles kind of contract all day. So let's give them a stretch. Feels good, good for us, helps mobility. The preamble is fun. Ah, oh, thanks, Maddie. Hello, Jane. Uh, more Natalie, more Wales. Come on, come on. Who uh, wants some moving? 165 snacks we've done. I've just been charting, charting our success again. Look, look at all that. One hundred and sixty-five. Good afternoon, Jane. Um, I have a question. Now there's a few in the house. Inspired by Diana Ross this afternoon. Diana. Diana lost her mojo, so she she put out a mojo request into the ether, and I received it. So on a scale of uh, one to ten, where's your mojo for moving now? 10 being my mojo, my mojo for moving is here, my mojo for moving is here, from one to 10, give me a number. Where's your mojo? Come on, play my games, Friday. Hello, Inaka. Hello, Glasgow, that means, hello, Bolton. Mojo means uh, motivation, I think. Kind of, where, where's your, where's your, 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 your up and go? Has your up and go got up and gone? Or has this movement snack kind of dragged you in? Uh, come on, mojo scores, please. Carol's got an eight. Bob's on a ten. Mojo working. Mojo numbers. Come on, give me your mojo number. You've got about a minute to give me your mojo number, please. Mojo ten, yes. We're already there on ten. Thanks, deal. That means Cambridge. Hello, sunny Wales. Anita means Devon. Uh, we're on mojo numbers, please, folks. One to ten. Uh, <clears throat> five and a half from Jane. So ten is my mojo is maxed out, and one is not very mojo. All ready to me. Bolton's on ten. Excellent. <laughs> Devon's on 11. Mojo off the scale. Mojo off the scale, like that. So I want to thank uh, Diana. Diana, because you've given us a new word today that's really significant. And I love saying it. Mojo. Where's your mojo? And hopefully that's kind of as well what this, what this community does. I think my mojo got up and left, Pat. But you're here, look, we, uh, we're your mojo, mojo friends. And we, 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 we lure you in. Mojo 8, Maddie. That sounds good. Maddie Mojo 8. 
Uh, Linny's got a Mojo 10 plus. Loving the 10 pluses. Maya is in. Right, three, two, one. Three, two, one. And uh, I'll ask you for your Mojo scores after. It's making me laugh just saying it. Three, two, one. Inspired by Kaus this morning on the breakfast movement snack. Do you remember Ted Rogers, Dusty Bin? Three, two, one. My name is Bex Towley from Later Life Training. It's Friday the 16th of May. It's the 4 p.m. movement snack, which is sway, coordinated three-dimensional movements with a big stretch. And all of these things uh, support and contribute to all of our activities of daily living in sit, in stand, and in lying positions. Let's go. Sit or stand, make sure you have some support. We're going to be moving into some sway, so balance is gonna to feature today. So please have some support, appropriate height for you. Use it whenever you need. Uh, have a look at the movements first, and then decide if you're gonna take it in a stand with support, or if you're gonna take it in a sit. Starting with circulation boost, just have a little pause, little moment to get your balance. Lift and lengthen, open the chest, start the circulation boosting. And at this time of day, this circulation boost may really be, need, be needed if you've been sat for a while, so we need a bit of circ boost, or you may have been frantically doing stuff. So we can actually use this as a, as a calmer downer rather than a, a, a circulation calming activity. Either way, here's the checks. Work through them in your, in your own head. Lengthen, lengthen through the center, open the chest, and then a little consideration around ankles, feet, and toes. Always, always, always. Arm in as and when you're ready. Tuck the elbow in. The movement is, is driven from the shoulder, so arms and legs are moving rhythmically around a really strong support structure, which is spine and all of your muscles that hold us upright. Keep going if that's your stand option. Sit options, hip walk forwards, always, always. Feet, ankles and toes if you want to, you can take a toe tap, bring the heels back, we can take them rising, we can take them as the whole march driven by ankles, feet and toes arms in together when you want or we can mix it up upper and lower you choose it's a minute or a minute and a half or so and then take a pause take a moment maintain the lift maintain the support and control and the steadiness across feet or across sit bones moving into some sway and some coordination and this serves to support how we move throughout the day. And in these 10 minute movement snacks, we can be more mindful of how we're stood, how we transfer weight, and then how we, how we manage when we throw in these coordination moves. Let's have a go. To begin with, uh, have a look at this one and decide if you want to sit down first. You could, alternatively, rest your hips on a fixed stable surface, allowing the arms to move freely. Lift and lengthen, or sit. Single arm first off, here we go. We're gonna take a figure of eight, and then hand returns. Other arm, figure, of eight and can you see everything is low these movements are under shoulder height they can be as small as you want it's the it's the fluidity that I'm after here with with some wrists so we're trying to articulate every every bit of the of the arm in this instance all whilst maintaining this lifted posture once you've mastered single arms Let's bring them together, moving in the same direction. Continue with those figure of eights, keep going with that. Sit is the same, lengthen out, here's the figure of eights. And we're aiming here for smooth movement, both hands and arms moving at the same pace and speed. Take a pause. Couple of options now we can layer in. 
have a look. Coming away from support or uh, close to but without touching. Let's have a look at a little bit of weight transfer from side to side. So both of my feet remain in the floor. The knees are a little bit bent. I'm lifted and I'm shifting, shifting. Or this one with external support, the same. Same in sit, but in sit, the weight transfer happens across the buttocks and potentially feet, depending on um, your, your kind of situation. Here we go. All right, so we've got some weight transfer happening. Let's layer in a figure of eight. One arm first. You might want to alternate, keep that support. As soon as we start to weight transfer, your balance is going to be challenged to a lesser or greater degree. Have a look, have a feel, and pick the right one that's for you. When you're ready, can you see we can take the weight transfer with the figure of eights? And now at the moment, both arms are doing the same thing. And I don't have a head movement, so we haven't got all of the elements in there. Uh, I'm going to do one more option before we move on to the stretch, but we can continue to build and progress this over time. Have a look. Um, I'm going to take one figure of eight from the top down with one arm. At the same time as I take a figure of eight from the bottom up on the other arm. Have a sit down first if you want to, have a go at that and, and kind of Feel how that is in your, in your brain as we literally try to get our minds around that. Without the sway, here we go, have a go. Have a go, and then as and when you're ready, you can start to bring in the weight shift across the sit bones, or that could be the weight shift across the standing posture, and if it goes wrong, we stop, we draw a line, Take a deep breath and build it up again. That's how we learn. All right, ready for a stretch? That's the figure of, figure of eights, and, and it just serves as a coordination, three-dimensional movements that we can think about and be more mindful of in this 10 minutes, all contributing to supporting balance and movement in daily life. Ready for a stretch, stand tall or sit tall. Couple of shoulder rolls from the mobility movement snack just to get shoulders ready, uh, take a pause. Let's go for a hug and open and close. Keep the arms extended and hands, getting ready for the chest stretch. We're building up, we're building up, ready for the tress, tress, chest stretch. This time, here we go, hands to buttocks, palms or back of. This might ease shoulder, shoulder comfort. Lift and open, it's a squeeze. Can you see it's led by the sternum, shoulder blades together, all in sits, all on length. Breathe, 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 please. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Stay there if you can, or ease out, have a little pit stop and go in again. This is for you to feel your way around. Shoulders are down, head is centre. And can you feel the stretch? Can you feel it across the front of the stretch? And it goes without saying, you can, you can see here from this position, this is helping with upright, open posture, contributing to steady, strong, stable positions on stand. Plus, look, look where my arm is here. This is getting out the bath, getting out of a chair, getting off of the floor, or just doing this for the sake of it. Loads of... Uh, Loads of benefits in the bag on that one. Little bit of foot pedal here, just to keep the circulation boosted. Or in sit, that would be a couple of uh, toe taps, or it could be a bit of a lift and shift. Into back of arm stretch. If you wanna have a feel around some mobility just before we go into this one, see where you're at with your ranges so far. And then here we go, bend. Fingertips, walk over, walk over, or just support the weight of the arm. Ease it up to a point where 
that's your natural sticking point that's the stretch position in stand with support keep in all these prompts keep thinking about those have a feel how is everything where it should be ease it out and have a little release in between same on the other arm we bend the arm just so we can get it into position easier we can ease it up ease it up to your position mild tension around shoulder and back of arm head is still this is critical this position here maintain normal breathing slowly out of these stretches slow 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 release 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 okay side of the trunk couple of options here depending on shoulders have a go um just relax the arms here as if you're gonna uh, kind of lift maybe kind of take off shirt or jumper ease up can you feel as you as you bring the shoulders up everything lifts up but you you control that range and then come down so on these ones it's a slow in it's a little pause little pause and then it comes out and release feel your way around these or you might want to go for the single and that squeeze here support that arm on the way down or you might want to go for and out and an up see how you go stretching down the sides now all of these stretches as it's uh, functional floor friday not only contribute to stand and sit and i planted the the question seed at lunchtime about what sleeping positions do you adopt um so all of these movements turning rolling um getting up from the floor require big big ranges of motion from our shoulders and stretching out the trunk can help with that ready for the back of thigh stretch if you want to be doing this one in stand go ahead with that i'm going to talk through the seated one here we go hip walk forwards if stretching legs thighs and calves isn't on your radar isn't on your list of things of, that's important go around the upper body ones again this 10 minutes can be for you to, to to select and pick a mix which ones are best for you also i'm just here for your mojo remember here we go leg is out here's the check foot knee off up tall here here's the tilt there's the crux as long as you can deep breath breathe out and ease in 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 in, in. try to stay here can you feel it if you can't feel it come out again slowly do a double check that you've you've tilted and lifted keep the chest tall squeeze in so the back is straight and it's hinging 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 can you feel it if you can feel it you're in the right place hold 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 slowly out little release same on the other leg of course here we go hinging up relax the foot unlock the knee unlock the knee and feel your way around this this position around the hips and the pelvis is, is how you're going to find this stretch so it might take a bit of exploration you can support the, the spine here by holding the hands but this hip hinge position can you see this is exactly the same position as we as we use to get out of a chair easier so it's fundamental in, in all of our movements slowly release calf stretching sit is here remember lasso the toe and reel it in reel it in and the feeling is if you're pressing your heel forwards and your toe back and here you should be feeling this stretch on the back of the calf perhaps up towards the the back of the knee release and out looking to hold these positions see how you feel five eight twelve twenty seconds same on the other foot i do want to just show the stand option on this if i may if i may be so bold here we go support because the primary aim is stretch don't want to challenge balance that's not what this is all of foot we talked about this at lunchtime about heel raises and feet and how we need ankles feet and toes to drive up from 
from floor positions. There's the stretch. There's the double whammy here. Hold, feel, slow count, normal breathing. Maintain the posture positions. Crowbar in an extra side if you would like. Step in, add an extra little bend here. You'll get a, 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 a double whammy stretch. Lower down towards the top of the heel. Slowly out, release. Slowly in, slowly out. You control how intense these stretches uh, feel. Ball of foot in, slowly in position. Can you feel it? Up. Crowbar in the extra reach if you would like. Slowly out of the stretch, take the step in. Here's the second one if you want it. There, and you'll feel the stretch lower down towards the top of the heel. Release. Have a little release. Crowbar in an extra figure of eight if you want to. Go around all those again. They're completely free, right there. So much benefit and it's all free. Go around again. Let us know how that is. Okay. Um, I have some news for tomorrow. That's Sorry, that's our 30 minutes from today in the benefits bag. Uh, movement snacks tomorrow. I'm back at 8 a.m. I'm on the morning shift tomorrow for the morning shift. And then there's an extra, an extra, extra. Read all about it. And we're crowbarring in an extra... 10, uh, 10 a.m. movement snacks, seated options only, plus, plus, uh, chair rise, chair rise progression. So if that sit to stand, that chair rise is, is not quite there for you, we'll be do, doing some extra, extra prompts around that. That's it. See you tomorrow morning, eight o'clock. Keep on moving. Thank you, folks. Bye for now. Oh, mojo numbers, mojo numbers, mojo numbers. Are you, are you the same? Is it a 10 or 1? Jane, you reminded me. Jane's on a 12. Has your mojo gone up? Or has it gone? No, it's not allowed to go down. Thank you, everyone. See you in the morning.